Good morning. We are going to go through your class today. So if you will, grab out your lab sheets. They look like this. Okay, so your, your lab sheets look like this. This is what we're going to want to go to, and we are going to actually do the lab today real quick together. So if you will, what we'll be doing if you're in class today, I'm going to take out some Oreos. We need approximately five Oreos a piece. We are going to place them in front of you. Okay, so we are going to be doing a new faces lab. We're going to take out some Oreos. You have them at home, you're more than welcome to follow along, cross it in, grab some Oreos, and follow along. If you do not have Oreos at home, you can just watch the video and record our results. So you're going to take approximately four Oreos, even more, in a second. I'm going to place them in front of you. Zoom in on the Oreos a little bit more. You're going to place them in front of you. You're going to carefully disconnect the Oreo so you can do it with a knife. You can do it just with your fingers. But our goal is to not break the Oreo like I did right there. Okay? Now you're going to take the cream and make the different phases of the moon with your cream and your Oreo. It's okay if you break it. We'll just sit it back together. So if you will, that looks like a very good first quarter and third quarter, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna separate another Oreo, which has broken in it. And this looks like a really good new moon and possibly a full moon right there. Our full moon where it belongs. Put our new moon over here by the starting fit and uh, starting line. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna make this one a gibbet. I'm gonna shave off just a little crescent piece right there. Our gibbets go near the full moon, right? And we're going to try our best to use the rest of the cream to make a first or crescent. Some more cream from the gibbous. And the center of the moon. Full moon. Looking ever more like a crescent. All right, the second, try our very best. So we got a little crescent there. Let's make the rest of our phases here. We need a gibbous and a crescent. Remember, gibbous and crescent are going to refer to the actual shape of the moon. Ready? One thing you should remember is that this is a full moon. The white cream is going to signify our moon. The black is going to be the background in a whole circle. So you can see that this one is a full moon. The gibbets right here. We're going to keep going with our gibbets and our crescent. Okay. 
Another gives right there. And in just a second, we're going to have another crescent shape. The crescents don't look so hot. That is okay. There's my crescent, and you can see I now have the moon phrases sitting in front of me on my table. They're going to be copied down in your notebook. At the very top, you're going to draw what you see, so shade in the part that is shaded, and um, leave blank or white the part that is actually the moon. So you're going to go ahead and go through these, draw them, label them, so the one where you don't have anything is a new moon. Then we're getting brighter, and it's just a little sliver, we call that a crescent. Because we're getting brighter, we call it waxing. Then we have our first quarter moon. And again, we're still getting brighter, so we're calling this waxing. And this is shape as the gibbous. And then we are as bright as we can be. This is the full moon. And then in a couple of days, we start to lose some of our brightness, so we're getting darker. That means it's waning, and our shape here is the gibbous. And then this is our third quarter moon. And again, we're getting darker, so we call it waning, and this is the crescent shape again. You are going to color those in, write the names, and then answer the follow-up questions. So make sure you're labeling them. Some of the follow-up questions say, label each face from the position one to five, so make sure you're labeling them on the lines right there. Describe that process that causes the moon to appear in these different phases. So what is happening? Why are we seeing the different moon phases? If we know that at all the time, every time, half of the moon is lit up by the sunshine at all times. So why are we not seeing half of the moon lit up at all times? Tell me how long it is from our lecture today. What is the average time in between phases that you might have to look up? And the, the small white circle of, on the moon on diagram A, actually you can't do number five, so cross out number five. Okay, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the Oreo Lab. I will be doing this in class today. If you're at home, you're welcome to do it at home or just use my results. Have a great day, guys.